having a network of department chairs here in Pakistan, each with their own experiences to bring to the table, is a very strengthening part of the training. This includes everything from strategic planning to dealing with uh, accreditation issues, so continuous improvement, uh, equity, diversity, and inclusion, uh, how to deal with difficult faculty members. So there's vision, there's mission, there's career goals, and then there's the metrics of figuring out if you're on the right track and then reassessing and you know, reprioritizing your, your activities. Things are evolving very, very fast. Um, so I would say that uh, you know these times uh, are the times where we want to make sure that the technology is integrated in all curriculums. Our students get the experiential learning, and they get the opportunity to go to the industry. They have to have uh, you know some sort of market potential support. They have to develop their skill set. The main component in this training was strategic planning, strategic skin, and uh, apart from that. Uh, another component which is very important for us, that is alumni, and as well as the employability of our graduates. It would help me identify the weaknesses of my department, which would ultimately translate into professional growth for me. And that's how I see myself progressing with this training. It's very important to understand in a strategic planning process, it's continuous. It's not, you do it once and it's, it's done. You keep doing it over and over and over again and you have to bring in all your stakeholders because you need input from faculty, you need input from students, you need input from your dean and your vice chancellor, um, you need input from the people who hire your students. So it is a very complex process and we're here to help them uh, implement that process over the next year or so.